Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to run macOS Catalina in VirtualBox. I know I made a video about three years ago now about running Sierra in VMware on Linux, and my apologies for any links that are broken or anything that's not working. I'm going to make an updated video sometime in the next month or so. Um, links have been broken due to Google Drive changing stuff and all that other kind of happy whatever. So I'm sorry for any inconvenience with that, so I'm going to now show you how to run Mac OS Catalina and VirtualBox. Let's jump into it. So the first thing you want to do is download VirtualBox. I've put a direct link in the description to right here to this page and you click Windows Hosts and then download it and we're going to run it. We're going to open it. We can close Firefox and here's a setup window and we're just going to click Next, Next, Next. We'll go through and we'll hit Install. Uh, it'll pop up asking if you want to allow changes. You click yes. Okay, and we're going to click finish. So your next step is going to be open this 7-zip file that we downloaded that's in the OneDrive link, and we're going to open it. You can either open it in 7-zip or in WinRIR. Either one is fine. We're going to open it until we see this VMDK file, and we're going to extract it. I'm going to extract it to my documents folder. And we're going to click OK and we're going to let it extract. OK. So now that it's done, we can close WinRAR and we can exit out of here. So the next thing we're going to do is open VirtualBox. It's right here under Recently Installed. So that's good. So once we're in VirtualBox, we're going to click New. And we want to name the machine, so I'm going to name it Mac OS Cat, short for Catalina. So make sure it says Mac OS 64 bit. I'm going to click Next. I have 16 gigs of RAM in this system. I'm going to put six of it dedicated for this virtual machine, so I'm just going to do 1024 times six, which is 6,144. So we need to put that in here. And then we're going to use an existing virtual hard disk file, which is that one we already downloaded. So we're going to click the folder icon, we're going to click Add, and then we're going to go to wherever you extracted it. So for me, it's my Documents folder, and I'm going to click Choose, and then Create. So now we need to configure our virtual machine. So we're going to go to System, Remove Floppy. We're going to go to Processor. I'm going to put a second core on this so it's not just running on a single core of my 8 on my Core i7. We want Display. We're going to increase all the video memory to all the way over. And then we need to go to USB, make sure USB 3 is enabled if it shows up. Make sure your network is connected here. Make sure your audio is set up. And then your display should already be all set. So click OK. And now we have to put some commands into command prompt. I've included a notepad document in the OneDrive link in the description, and so we're going to put all of these commands in here. Right here where it says Mac OS Cat, inside these quotes, if you have a different name for your virtual machine, you're going to change it. So for me, since I'm just going to use Mac OS Cat, I'm just going to copy and paste all these commands, and I'm going to run them. This is basically configuring the virtual box to think it's a real Mac system instead of a virtual machine. And we're all set, so we can close these. And we're going to restart VirtualBox. And now we're going to run the machine. So the machine is beginning to boot. All of these things are normal. If you see any errors, that's because of the fact that parts of the operating system are realizing that it's not running on a native Mac OS device, which is perfectly fine. How you know it's working is there will be something that says GIO lock screen state right here. That's what you need to look at to know that it is actually working completely correctly. And then there it goes. So now the virtual machine is installing Mac OS on the virtual hard drive. And so, so it has less than a minute remaining. 
which means that it's going to reboot pretty soon. So it says it's ready to restart. So it says automatically restarting in three seconds. Once it says done here, manually reset it by going to machine and then reset because it can't reset itself fully. And now just wait for it to boot into the setup. And just like that, it's loading macOS setup. I'm not going to walk you guys through the setup process because that's pretty straightforward, but because it's something you guys should easily be able to figure out on your own. And just like that, it's at the setup screen, and you're all set and ready to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry for any delays in making videos. I'm trying to get back on the grind of actually producing content. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I want to try and get like a thousand likes if that's possible. Click up here to subscribe and up here to watch one of my other videos. And then over here, I've got the brand new channel that my girlfriend and I have just created for vlogs. So go subscribe to that. We're going to be uploading some content pretty soon. So until then, guys, peace out.